Black Legends. It's Kev here, and I'm getting ready for COD season at the end of 2023. It's in three weeks time, and I can't wait. But for now, let's reflect on the earlier COD season from 2023, and look at my favorite COD catches from Skinny Water. Let's get into it. Well, I did just lie to you, because my first favorite catch of 2023 for Murray Cod was Lake Moala. The reason being, it was my very first time getting there. I was in the kayak, it was great weather, it was a great day, just a solo sesh, trolling around. Sit back and just watch this cod engulf this solid plastic lure. Going to be starting with a troll of a surface lure and throwing this bait around. So I'm going to hold this bait in my hand. If I hook up on surface, I'm not going to be able to see it, but you'll hear it. I've got one. Yes, it's coming over some snags there. Looks like a good size cod. Look at that, first one for the day. Thank you, Paul, for your bait. You can see it in the mouth right there. He absolutely there engulfed us. First fish, now look at that. He was not even playing around. So Paul couldn't make it out, so he gave me some big soft plastics of his favorites. And before I pull it out completely, I'm gonna give a photo of that one. Paul's gonna just like, basically get a heart on. So this next catch was in Skinny Water, Lodden River, below some rapids. This wasn't so much the catch, but it was the fish. It looked like it had blue. I'm not sure what was going on. Could have been just the day, the sky, who knows? But it looked magnificent. Check it out. Got one. Oh, feels good. Maybe. Felt yeah, good for a second. Maybe it was just a, a like a little cod going underneath. Oh, she's a good sized cod. All right, it's that fast water. Makes them feel a bit bigger than they are, I reckon. What a lovely one. Whoa. Come back here, you. So that fast pulse and retrieve and stopping helped out. I think it's just hooked it under the under the mouth there. Alright, fella. Alright. Look at you. Aren't you a beautiful looking specimen? Really dark, lots of good green on this one. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, wow. Very dark. It's almost got blue on it, this one. Wow. Very beautiful fish. I don't know if you can see that in the camera, but it's just maybe the light. It just looks blue. It's the most beautiful cod I've seen in a long time. The blues on this are incredible. Let's see how we go. We're just going to easily ease him in. Ease him in. He's going to wet me. Go into the depths a bit. There you go. He's not in a rush to go. All right, whilst I finish up this FG knot, let's check out the next one. Lodden River, skinny water, in the kayak. Just after the devastating 2022 floods, the rivers were just starting to, you know, reside, get a little bit clearer and cleaner, fishable again. And some of the cod were a little bit healthier than usual. Check this one out. Got one. Oh, that one feels a bit bigger than the last. Got the line all hooked up. Just watching my other line. Hopefully it's not going somewhere. It's definitely a cod the way it's fighting. Oh, look at that. Beautiful cod. Oh, he is going for a big run. A little bit bigger than the last. 
It's got some power, this one. All right, we're gonna try to get him into this, this net. Then we'll sort out that other rod. And it's the little baby perch again. It's on fire today. All right, we've got him in the net. He's a bit cramped, but we'll quickly get this up. This other lure, before we get it wrapped around the trolling motor. Baby perch again, you see that fella in there? I don't know, we'll measure that one. We haven't measured the last few. All right, we've got a beautiful Murray cod in here. Let's get him out, take a look at him. There we go, look at that fella. Beautiful Murray cod. He is very chunky, very, very chunky. And if we lay him down to get a measure, his mouse here, and he's right up the very tip there. I'm gonna say, it's maybe 61. He's not the biggest, but he weighs a lot. He is very, very chunky. Look at the size of the head on that. Let's get this big boy in the water. He'll let me know when he's ready. See you later, fella. So how was that? And also, how's this double pizza knot that I just tied? They're like a blood knot, but twice as strong. Don't let go. You end up with three K again. So they look a little bit chunkier, but they are the goods. All right, next one up in the lot of water. Walking the banks this time. And it was at the end of the night. Wasn't really having much luck. So I decided to put on a, a big red fin, soft plastic swim bait lure and let it hit the deck. On the retrieve, a cod just minced it. Go on, Paul. It's got a little bit of weight to it. Yeah, probably 70, maybe. Not too big. Yeah, should be okay. I'll leave it right there. Yeah, should be right. Oh yeah. You know what? Rule of thumb. Just in case it flicks. I don't want it to hit the ground. Fuck yeah. What do you reckon? Pretty fat. About 70? Yeah. Alright. Alright then. <laughs> Are you gonna get going? Go on, mate. See you later, buddy. Get out. There you go. You know, we're lucky that we've got three weeks left until cod season opens. We've got plenty of time to sort out our tackle. For me on this day, when I was out cod fishing with Paul, he had left early, so I was out there by myself. I had not caught anything all day. He had a funny snap off in the morning. I'll play that first. But up next, you'll see my struggles after many hours of trying to catch a fish. Then five minutes before I went home, this happened. Oh, ho, 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 yeah, baby, it's on. It's on. Get it in there. Snap me off. Why is it taking you long? It's not. It's the whole door. <laughs> Snap me.
It was a good boof. It was of size. Yeah, boy. <laughs> he ain't going back. <laughs> yeah. Did you not hear the bass in that? <laughs> Hey everybody, I just want to stop here for a second to show my appreciation for you guys for watching this channel. Um, it is small, I'm trying to build it. If you like the content, hit the subscribe button, it really does help me out. But anyways, let's keep moving. Let's check out the next one. Got him. It's another nice size one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Probably same as yesterday, another 70 I reckon. See if we can get this one to submit. Here we go. I'm on you. Yes. Good size Maricot. Let's go get you up there. We'll get a quick photo. There's a quick up and down. Get this baby released right where he came from. Yeah, later, fella. So I'm standing here and just looking at all these lures and I am not surprised, but the next cod, it did get me by surprise. It was a little Murray cod, not massive, but boy gee, it just hit me. Last second hits, always get the heart pumping. Let's check it out. He hit me right as I was lifting it out of the out of the water. Another lily. Did you hear that? Oh, he must have followed that right up. That. Scared the shit out of me. <laughs> oh, and he's tangled up in that stuff. Oh, I hate that. Stay there, mate. Stay there. Oh, this one's a bit bigger than the last one. The okay. best. Alrighty then, see you later fella. <laughs> so when we're fishing skinny water for big fish, sometimes the water isn't that deep, but they're still there, don't get me wrong. So you need to revert to stuff like these, swim bait lures, yeah, shallow divers, and my favorite from last year, the jackal swing Mikey. Let's see what happened when I threw this jackal swing Mikey in this really skinny, really fast flowing water. So quick. All right, just caught another little yellow. I'm going to see if there's any more down in there. It's a bit treacherous because I can see a log right there. I'm not sure if you can see it. You can see the tip of it. I've got um, polarized glasses on, so I'm just going to slow roll past this log. It was just to the right of the way the lure is going. Got one. Oh, that's a bigger one. Yes. There we go. So the cod just waiting in the fast water there. It's a bit bit harder to wind this one in because of the fast water. It's not massive. I think maybe 75. And let him swim back and then pull him up. It's a good size. Alright. It's gonna be a bit difficult to bring this one in. A lot of fast water here. A lot of fast water. Let's just get myself in a good position. He's not liking this. I'm gonna have to bring you up onto the uh, the land a little bit. 
get a nice photo, we'll get a measure, we'll get you back. Let's get a look at you. There. You're a nice one, aren't you? Look at that. Nothing like a beautiful, fat Murray cod out of the lot. Wow. I can't handle that, boy. Alright, All right. so we've just had a quick measure. Went 70. Get you right back to where you come from, buddy. Might be a bit sulky, but we'll get you back in that fast water. Come on. You tell me when you're ready. See you later, fella. So I haven't used this rod for a few weeks. I've been trying to catch some yellows uh, recently, and I found a spinnerbait that I thought I had lost. Still on the rod. Bonus. Just like I found this rod in the skinniest of skinny water, and this thing was a freight train. Holy moly! Got one! Whoa! Whoa! It launched itself! <laughs> that was a wicked one! Look at that one! <laughs> you should have seen it! It came out of the fast water in the middle there! It just, I heard it! It got airborne! <laughs> that was so good! It's a good chunk! <laughs> I'll come up here. Wow, <laughs> loving it. Oh, so what a chunk. You're low dog. Yeah. You sort of look here and you go, nah, there's no yeah. way a cod will be in there. <laughs> Let's get this guy back in the water. <laughs> See you later, buddy. Hey, legends. We've made it to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed those catches as much as I did. And if you did, I would love it if you hit that like button and possibly thought about subscribing to the channel. It really helps me out. I'm trying to grow this channel. It is only small, but we're getting there. Anyways, I'm gonna get back to contemplating what lures I'm gonna be taking for the next COD season in 2023. And I hope you do the same. See you later.